everyone, it's Jennifer. I thought today I would teach you how to um, properly spray paint. And not only properly spray paint, but I'm gonna be working on a propane tank today. So I'll show you in just a, a minute. So what I have is, <clears throat> I have the things I use when I spray paint. I have a face mask. This one actually has a little, um, I think it's a charcoal insert in there. It's hard to show you this as I'm turning it, but it's in here. There's a little insert in there to clear the air. Um, this is not a dust mask. This is more heavy duty. Um, it, it's probably not for super heavy applications, but it's definitely, for me, it works really well with spray paint. Um, it's just a, a more heavy duty mask. Um, glasses. If you're doing a lot of spray painting or you're using spray paint that has real small particles in it, like glitter, you definitely want to get heavier ones. I have multiple sets of eyeglasses or um, safety glasses because I need them. <laughs> Usually I'm the knucklehead who gets stuff in her eye. Anyway, these are just really basic ones you can buy. Um, I think these were three dollars at a store. You can see there's lots of spray paint on them. Anyway, they make other ones that wrap around and cover your eyes. They have, um, you know, top and bottom covers on the lenses. Um, so today it's just a little bit of spray paint, so I'm not going to get out the heavy duty ones, but you should always, always wear safety glasses. Even if you don't use a mask, please, please always wear safety glasses when you spray paint. I mean, I'm just going to say please wear them. Um, and then I'm going to be using this spray paint. I'm sure you know none of this is sponsored. I'm just going to take say that. But this is actually my favorite brand of spray paint. I don't know so much about the American Accents. Rust-Oleum 2 times cover. It is a really awesome spray paint. I don't know that it's one can equals two like it says on the label. Maybe if you're buying some off-brand or some store brand. I think that's probably true in my experience. And I've been spray painting a really, really long time. Um, but this is great. And it's a beautiful color. It's deep turquoise. And it will go with what I'm putting on the camper anyway. And then this is cool. I bought it at a local store. I don't know if you can see that, but it's 99 cents right there. 99 cents. This usually sells for, not on sale, about four bucks. And then on sale, it's usually about three or three and a half. So a dollar for a can of this is outstanding. So um, these are what these are the things I'm going to use. And then what I'm going to spray paint. Sorry, move slowly. Hey, look, there's my backyard. I'm going to spray paint this propane tank. One of my friends gave it to me the other day for free. He knows I'm working on a camper. Um, I cleaned it up a little bit. You can still see where there's greasy marks and stuff. I'm not going to worry too much about that. It was quite dirty and it, it's not very rusty. I think it's actually in pretty good condition for having sat around his place for a while. So I actually cleaned it off with some spick and span and some sandpaper as you can see all over there attractive right um i actually sandpapered it first and then came back through with the spigot span to clean off the dust from the sandpaper as well as any grime and uh, um actually so that's what it looks like and i'm going to spray paint it i haven't figured out how i'm going to do this because i don't have a, a proper kick stand for my phone so i'm not sure how i'm going to show you how to do this but i will so bear with me Okay, everyone, so first things first, you want to get your spray paint and you want to shake it. Um, when you're in the store purchasing your spray paint, make sure that you first shake the can to make sure that the ball rolls ball rolls in the jar. It's a can. Make sure that the ball rolls in the can before you buy it. I've actually gotten home with a can of spray paint that the ball didn't roll around in it, and I can't use it. Um, it means I can't shake up the spray paint properly. So um, hopefully you'll be able to hear me. I don't have any expensive video equipment because all my money is going towards fixing up that camper. So if you watch me, I will try to instruct you um, not only visually but also verbally as I'm spray painting it. I'm already having problems getting the lid off the, off the can. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to shake it up really well, and that's what you're hearing is me shaking it. So then you want to take the object and you just want to apply light coats. You want to spray on and off. So you spray, let your finger off. Spray, let your finger off. I'm going to, hopefully you'll be able to see that. I know this is really awkward, but I don't have any choices. This is what I got, so bear with me. Here we go. So as I'm spraying, I am lifting my finger up off of the button on the spray paint can. And if you listen, you can hear it spray. So I'm doing spray, lift, spray, lift, 
spray, lift, spray, lift. And I am going in a reasonable way. Just heading all the way down. And I'm gonna grab this, this uh, tank and I'm gonna hold it up and I'm gonna spray it again. And so I'm spraying and lifting my finger, spraying, lifting my finger. And I'm just gonna do that all the way around. The angle doesn't really matter because most of these work, you know, even upside down. But you wanna do a light coat. And I don't know if you can see this, but you can see where there's kind of a gap in the spray paint. Doesn't matter. So just keep going and spray all the way, all the way around and just keep doing spray, lift. Lift your finger and just keep going down until you coat it. I'm gonna keep doing this and I'll come back to you. Okay, so I'm getting ready to do the top of the um, tank and I think I can hold the phone while I'm doing this to show you. So basically this, the technique is just to make sure that you're spraying consistently. You wanna spray in a consistent direction with consistent pressure on the sprayer and you want to make sure that you um, lift your finger at the end of the spray. So I'm gonna spray and lift. If you watch, I'm lifting my finger at the end. I think I have to go out a little bit. But if you watch, I spray and lift. And see how that goes on really nicely? I'm gonna come around to the side and do the same thing again. You just wanna apply, consistency is really key here. So you wanna spray and lift. See how it's just a little movement? And see how nicely that goes on? Now there's gonna be little bare patches like right here and maybe down over here. And that's not to, that's nothing to worry about. We're just doing light coats of spray paint. So again, you wanna do light coats. Just keep spraying like that. And if you miss it, I mean, you can go back over it, but you may just wanna wait until your next pass. I'm gonna keep doing it. If you spray too much on at one time, it will create drips, which are really a pain in the butt to fix. I'm gonna do this too. And you may not see my finger completely lifting off the top of that, but I'm lessening the pressure on the top of the sprayer. And spraying. Okay. Same thing. Just lifting. I just realized I made a mistake. Ah, I was going to do two coats on the bottom and then do the top, and I got so excited about taping this, I forgot. But I think it'll be all right. So then the inside, this, this is always a little tricky, but try to keep, like, see how I just sprayed this whole area right here? See, that's consistent. So I'm gonna spray over here and do that. I mean, it's really just about being logical about what you're doing, and then I'm gonna spray over here. I am gonna spray this too very lightly just to kind of make it all the same color. I would really prefer that the metal not got painted, like the the, uh, the nozzle part, I would have preferred not to paint that, but there's, I'm not taping it off, I guess. So all I'm gonna do is the same thing. I'm gonna let it dry for probably about 10 minutes. The humidity here today is very low. That's not like that in Ohio. Usually it's just ridiculous, but it's kind of a chilly fall day. And uh, it's very dry. So I'm gonna let that dry about 10 minutes and then I'm gonna come back and recoat it doing the same steps that I did before, but hopefully, if you follow those instructions, you'll end up with a, with a really good spray paint job. Again, consistency is the key. You wanna keep a light touch on the sprayer. You wanna lift your finger as you get down to the end of where you're going. You also don't wanna spray in too large of an area. So, as you're spraying, you know, I'm not gonna spray the whole thing in a big circle. I'm gonna do section by section. So I guess that's the other thing too, is you want to keep a consistent spray, consistency um, on your pressure on the, not, on the sprayer. You wanna keep it in small areas with light coats and just go from top to bottom or bottom to top. Do not spray in a circle. Don't think, oh, because it's circular, you have to spray in a circle. You don't. You will spray in a circle by doing section by section. So those are my tips for spray painting. Uh, make sure you let the coats dry in between. And then if you have a run on it, um, what you technically want to do is wait until it completely dries and then sand it down. If you try to sand it too early when it's wet, all you'll do is just roll the paint. So there you go. Happy spray painting. Thanks for watching. Bye.